Okay, in this video, we're going to uh, install some of the last remaining mods. We're going to put in uh, LED lights um, on the cutting side of the case. Um, this is almost six feet long. It'll go around the whole interior. Um, I just got to put some longer wires on it. This one is for the uh, electronic side. So when I cut the final custom panel out of acrylic, um, when I uh, en engrave the words on it, um, they should light up. Pretty cool. Um, we're going to put in the um, air assist. Um, this is the basic system. Um, I designed this. Um, I wanted a system where I can control the airflow, um, not just on or off, but being able to. A lot of times you don't want um, your full air assist on, but you want to. Uh, um, at least have some air going through it so that the smoke doesn't go up and, and dirty your lens. Um, so we'll be doing that. Um, this is the uh, little uh, air pump that we'll be using. It's a 950 um, gallons per hour uh, aquarium pump. Um, we'll be, I'll be using from the pump um, through the uh, case, through the um, drag chain, uh, I'll be using this soft silicone. Um, it has less air resistance in it. Um, after we come out of, out of the drag chain, then I'm going to drop it down uh, to a short little run onto this um, so that we can connect this up like that. Um, we'll also be, uh, this is the, um, the laser that came with this, the case. Um, I'm changing it because it doesn't matter. It's only got one set screw on it. And it doesn't matter um, how tight you do it. It's, if you move, if you bang it, it's going to move. Um, it, it's a constant problem. So um, I'm changing it to uh, a different system, and uh, I'm putting in a different laser. Laser. These are from Amazon. Um, I'll explain that in a second. Um, the uh, um, here's the drag chain that came with the machine. Um, obviously, this is not going to cut it, so I had to print one. Um, the uh, for the laser, um, this is what I'm going to be using. Um, made this up, uh, so the laser fits in here. Um, it's a little circle ball thing, um, and inside this bracket, it's curved out for that. Um, so when you pop it together, um, there, you get a lot of play. So once you set this up with this. Okay. General idea. Um, so then it mounts to the plate. Um, then you adjust it with this. Get as close as you can. Then you can finalize this and then lock it down with uh, uh, this, this bolt that fits in here. Um, and then even if you accidentally bang it a little bit, um, it should still stay in place. Um, the uh, um, the I did find an issue with these lasers. Um, first, we're gonna I'll, I'll come back to this in a minute because right now I have the, the 12 volt. Um, I'm just gonna make sure that these uh, show you these are working. Uh, on here. Oh. There. So that one's for the um, interior electronics bay, and this one is for the cutting bay, and they both work. So um, anyway, um, for the la for these little laser um, pointers, um, the one thing I did find. Let me just switch over to five volts. Um, I already have the power supplies installed in the machine uh, from from the last video you saw, probably saw. Um, so I'll just be wiring into those and the uh, buttons on the custom panel that I already made. Um, I'm not going to bore you with the actual putting it in. Um, I'll just I'll bring you back when it's uh, it's done and I'll show it to you. I'll show you what it all looks like. But um, here's one thing I did find with these these little lasers that, that uh, you see on, on Amazon. Um, they're uh, relatively cheap. Um, and 
they do work mostly fairly well, I guess. Um, but I found a solution for them. So um, let's see if I can get this on here. What's that? There we go. All right. So let me bring it into here, and you should be able to see it. You can see that um, it's got a, it's got a really cheap little plasticky lens in there, and the light scatters on it. Um, so you end up with uh, a lot of extra artifacts coming out of it. Uh, I hope you can see that. Um, so what I what I found was um, let, me, let me grab this. I just printed these up, and oh, here I have to pick it up like that. Let me see if I can show you. Um, I take one of these, um, it's just a, a one mil thick, um, five mil wide um, with a one mil hole in the center. Um, it stops the scattering. Uh, um, just put it in. Uh, here's the one that I have set up and ready to go. Um, I've already added the extra wire. You can see it inside there. Um, and that stops the scattering effect. Um, so if, if you do get lasers from uh, Amazon or the laser pointers from Amazon, and you are finding that problem, there, you know, it's a relatively, if you have a 3D printer, it's a relatively easy, easy fix. Um, I'll just show you here. So, you see, that solves the problem. Um, oops. And that's, this one was scattering just like uh, uh, the one I just showed you, um, but putting that little spacer with the hole in it um, solved my problem. So um, anyway, uh, let's see here. What else was there? All right, with um, you know, with with this one here, the it's only got a four four mil hole on it, so um, the laser has to be uh, or dead center coming down from the third mirror. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll be doing an alignment. Um, these are just alignment jigs that I printed up, that, that I made. Um, this is uh, for mirror uh, one and two. Um, you know, you don't, you, don't, <clears throat> you don't have to use painter's tape. Uh, you're not blasting uh, adhesive onto your mirrors. Um, you know, you just slide the paper. Um, you know, when you're setting up your um, alignment um, and you're doing your parallel part of it, uh, which is the, the first step. Um, mirror, mirror two, um, you can just um, put your sticky, your post-it note, or whatever you're using on uh, on the bracket. Um, mirror three is a problem. Um, uh, that's what this one's for. This one goes for mirror three. Um, not only does it show you, give you the uh, where it's uh, where it's hitting, um, it also gives you a flat surface to um, do your uh, Parallel setup, and then for testing, um, when it's uh, if you're getting dead center coming down um, to your cutting area, um, there's a little ring inside here um, that catches, um, and puts it right at the, the proper focal length, um, 50.8. Um, anyway, so that just slides on, and you can keep doing your adjustments until you get it dead center. Um, so it's pretty easy. Um, uh, getting requests for people to um, uh, for me to put up my um, 3D files, so I'll uh, I'll probably start putting them all up and and linking over to them. Um, just if anybody wants them, they'll be available. So um, anyway, I'm going to put all the stuff together and I'll bring you back um, and show you what it looks like once it's all installed. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, we're back. Um, I got everything installed. Um, here's the stuff that I took out. Um, here's the light that came with it, if you want to call it that. Pretty much useless. Um, this drag chain ran across the top of the gantry. Took that out. It's definitely, you know, it's too small, so got rid of that. And the pointer, um, you know, with its movement issues. Um, this is what it looks like now. Okay. Um, got the drag chain in there. Um, and... Um, the, the pointers and the air assist all hook, all connected up. Um, they're all wired into the panel. I also wired in the fan. Um, I forgot about that earlier. Um, 
I did run into a couple problems with the, not problems, but issues with the drag chain. Um, this bolt that it was attached to um, was too tall, um, so I just ended up cutting it in half, which means I had to take this whole assembly off. Um, now I've got to go through and realign uh, mirror three. Um, but that's no big deal. Um, now, so every, you know, everything's adjustable now. Uh, well, the air, air assist is adjustable. Um, I ran the lights up underneath here, down the side, down the side here, across the front, and down the side here. Um, works great. Um, the as soon as I turn on the machine, the light strip I put inside the um, electronics bay. Um, will be on all the time. Um, I'm hoping that uh, uh, when I do um, create the final version of the custom cover or the custom panel um, out of acrylic, that when I engrave the what everything is, um, you know, it should light up pretty nicely. Um, anyway, let's turn it on and I'll show you what it looks like. There we go. So. Um, now everything's working. Yeah, every, flow meter's working. Uh, water server, everything's working. Um, you know, the drag chain works pretty good. Um, that's, you can see here. And where's the Y? So it all, all works fairly well. Um, happy with it. Um, here's the laser pointer on and off. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, see, on and off. Um, in the previous video, I mentioned um, this. It's lit up, um, but it's only five volts, so it's pretty dim. But you can still see it's on. Um, and here's the lights. Um, lots of light in there now. Um, not going to be uh, the other light um, was mostly especially when you're cutting it, it the gantry was mostly in the wing casting all kinds of shadows so now there's no more problems like you can see through the lid no problem um, you know nicely lit up um, and with the, the front fan uh, let's put that on there now uh, you can see the uh, when I turn on the fan there it's uh, Blowing wind across back to the exhaust um, should help with the uh, evacuation of all the smoke and gases uh, from anything that's going on. Um, other than that, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, let me see if I can, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not, but uh, let me, um, there's with the air assist on. Um, it's open full right now, and I can, uh, instead of having to turn it off all the, you know, on or off, now I can just adjust it. Um, so there's barely any air coming out of there, but it'll keep the smoke out of the lens. Um, if, you know, if I don't want to be blowing smoke down onto the material. So um, it's working great. Lots of air coming out of there now. Um, other than that, it's um, it's working good. Um, let's see. Um, other than that, we'll turn that off. It's too much noise. Um, if you. Um, I, now it's time for uh, cable management. Oh, the one thing I wanted to m mention um, with the drag chain, um, this, this tubing stuff, um, or, originally I was going to go with tubing like this. Um, it's air hose tubing. It's um, pretty hard. Um, but the bend on it was, was quite a bit. Um, I didn't want to put any extra stress on the, on the um, stepper motors. Um, so I went looking for something that was really flexible, and that's when I, I got this. Um, and uh, the only problem is, is it's kind of, I wouldn't say it's sticky, but it, it, when I was trying to put it through here, um, it, uh, I, I get it about usually three quarters of the way by, you know, taping it to a piece of wire and pulling it through. Um, and then it would, it would pop off. It was too much, it was too much pressure on it. Um, it was grabbing onto the plastic, you know, on the sides here. Uh, so what I ended up doing was just, um, these come apart relatively easily. You just un unclip them, and uh, so I just broke it into segments and um, pushed it through that way. Um, then it was relatively simple. Um, now that we've got most of the um, bay wired up, um, I'll show you what a spaghetti mess it is right now. Um, I got to 
get some uh, cable management stuff uh, off of Amazon because you know this stuff here that was from the original uh, just it's not it's not going to work. You'll see in a second here. Um, I'm still having um, I can't get these ones to light up. Um, every time I try and get these ones to light up with the LEDs, um, I'm closing the circuit. So basically, um, you know, if I try and get this one to light up, um, then the laser safety goes away. Um, it's going to fire all the time whether this button's up or down. Um, and same with the uh, um, momentary switch. Um, it, if, I, if I try and hook up the, so the LEDs light up, um, I get the it's it's just it's trying to fire constantly. So uh, right now uh, you see, you'll see when I open it up, I've just got them most of it temporary. Um, still trying to play around with it. If anybody knows um, a better way to wire it in or a way to fix that, um, I'd love to hear it in the comments. But um, okay, if you're ready for this, um, here's the uh, here's the inside of the panel all wired up. You can see I'm still playing around in here. So. But the rest of it's all up. Um, let me give you a better shot of this. There's the panel all wired up. Definitely needs some cable management. Um, but anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much it. It's a quick update. Um, yeah, everything's working great. Um, I'm loving the I'm loving the uh, Cohesion 3D board. Um, it's great. Um, it's super easy. Um, you know, light burn just makes things so much easier. Um, anyway, that's uh, that's kind of it. Uh, short little video on on these mods. Um, we'll see you in the next one. Uh, I'm going to start working on some uh, rotary designs. Um, the next thing I'm going to do probably um, where did I put it? Um, not sure where it is. The uh, I wasn't planning on bringing that in, but I'm going to be putting in the light burn camera. Um, the uh, light burn camera, uh, once you get it calibrated, you want your lid to always stay in the same spot. Um, so I'll be, I'll be putting these in. Um, just drill them in the back and in the back there with magnets on it. Um, then once, it's, once they're in place, uh, the lid will always be in the same place. Um, and so, you know, once you're Calibration's done. Um, hopefully, it should uh, um, stay in place. Anyway, um, we'll see you in another video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Uh, talk to you again. Bye.